back to the Kindred Kitchen. Today, what we are making are zucchini oat bars. Before we get into this, I want you to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tap the little notification bell so you'll know every time we come out with a new video. And I just know you are going to love this recipe. Okay, the zucchini oat bars are 50-50. As you can see, I've got an equal amount of oats here and zucchini. And the magic happens with these bars is that the liquid from the zucchini absorbs into the oats and then they get nice and toasty in the oven. There's a little bit of maple syrup here I'm gonna add and cinnamon vanilla. And that's it, which you could add other seasonings if you like. Um, my oldest son who also likes these bars, he doesn't like like the nutmeg or the cardamom in there, he wants just cinnamon. But you can feel free to add some cardamom, some cinnamon, I mean some nutmeg, all of those seasonings, all spice, you know, if that's how you like it. You could even throw in some um, apples or something, some shredded apple. If you do that, you're leaning a little bit away from the 50-50 side, but I will tell you that what I do with these bars a lot of mornings is I'll have a zucchini with it. That way I can have fruit with my breakfast. I'll have a bar, I'll have a little fruit, and I'll have a um, cucumber cut up, you know, as my part of my 50-50 meal, and that just brings it all together. That way there's no guessing involved. I hate it when I'm trying to guess on a recipe if it's a casserole or a soup. Is this really 50-50? Is it not 50-50? I have two shredded zucchini here, and these were medium-sized zucchini. And I'm gonna add this into the bowl, although I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to mix this very well in this little bowl, but we'll try. Whoops, hold on, a little piece of zucchini. No zucchini left behind. I have a half a cup of maple syrup. I know it looks like a lot, but this makes quite a few bars. And I'm going to add in two teaspoons of cinnamon into the mix. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and I make my own vanilla. I'm telling you, you just get the best vodka that you can afford. Just going to add a teaspoon. And then you get vanilla beans. You slice the beans kind of in half so that the inside is exposed. You can see them in there. See the vanilla beans in there. And I put about six or seven in this bottle and then I fill it up with vodka. And then every time I walk by, I give it a little shake. And then you get this nice vanilla extract with nothing else in it, vanilla, vodka. That's it. All right, I think I'm gonna do this by hand, which will be messy, but um, it's just a little container, a little bowl, actually. I'm gonna mix it up on here. That'll be easier. Then I can really mix it. Yeah. And this is what I do at my house, you know, I when I'm not in the Kindred Kitchen. <laughs> I just use my hands and I get it all mixed up because you want the zucchini and the oats to be well combined so that the oats can absorb all that liquid from the zucchini. You want your cinnamon to be evenly distributed and your maple syrup. So I'm going to do that. And then what I do is I just form it, pat it down. I do want it a little bit thinner. And I, since this is a bigger pan, I just squish it all into the center of the pan. And I want it to be very compact so that it will cook up and be able to cut it into bars. There. Now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and we are going to pop these in for just 40 minutes and I will be back with the finished product and I know you're going to love it. Yeah. Okay. Now these zucchini oat bars are done. Don't they look delicious? A great 50-50 snack or a breakfast, um, however you like it. And the kids will love these too because my boys love these as well. Um, I want you to go down below and leave us a comment if you've tried anything like this because this is something that we kind of made up and we love it. But I'm sure other people have tried similar recipes. Give us a link. We'd love to try your favorite breakfast type of bar recipe. And then I want you to go on over to kindredvegans.com and sign up for your newsletter because we put out lots of content monthly and we would love to have you join us. And we will see you next Wednesday. Bye for now.